Hello and welcome to the Imazanti Client Portal demonstration video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access our client portal, which will give you direct lines right into our support team. You'll be able to submit requests, view previous requests that you or anyone in your organization submitted, along with some other documents that pertain to your company. So let's talk about how you can get here. Simply go to www.imazanti.net, which I've already pulled up, hover over the eCare tab, and select EMS Portal. That'll bring it up in a new tab. So type in your email address and your password and click Submit. You can select Forgot Your Password if you forgot it and you will automatically be sent a email with your password in it. So here we have the basic screen where you can see what open tickets there are for your company, including a count of the tickets. If you're an admin, you'll see detailed statistics for how many tickets were done this month, this year, or a comparison to last year. And you'll have access to our knowledge base where you can type in a brief description of your problem and do a search for it if you feel inclined to help yourself. Let's look at the tickets tab. The tickets tab will show you each individual ticket under your company. You can select the ticket, see a description of the problem, which you'll see if you sent an email, it'll be a copy of the email and any correspondence, how it was resolved, and change the status at any time. Next, we have the Recommendations tab. The Recommendations tab shows you any quotes submitted to you or created by you. If you click one, you'll see who it was prepared for, who it was prepared by, the items in the quote, and total cost. We also have a reports tab where you can see the service trends from last year, service trends from this year, which is a total count of your tickets per month, and an executive management report. The executive management report will show you a total count of your servers, your workstations, file si uh, the total size of the drives on each server, how many viruses were removed in that month, backup statistics, patches, and a graph comparing what operating systems are on each machine. Next in the account tab, you have, if you're an admin, you'll see all the users in your company. If you're a basic user, you'll be able to change your contacts uh, information. This is your email, your work phone, your cell phone, and your direct number. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to create a ticket. To create a ticket, you click Create Ticket up in the top right corner. You select. We have uh, created several basic themes for you that you can select, or you can enter your own title here. Now, the neat thing is if you select a theme, we'll show you, you'll have um, a, a list of steps you can follow to resolve the issue on your own. Let's do this one instead. This one, you get several different options that you should try before you submit the ticket yourself. If, you, if these options don't help you, please write in detail your issue, whatever you're facing, and then click Submit. So to recap, we've got the Tickets tab where you can view all your open tickets, change the status, and update uh, with new information. Recommendations tab where you'll see quotes, Reports tab where you'll see an executive summary detailing all your computers in your environment. Accounts tab where you can change your information. And a create ticket button where you can generate new tickets for our support team. This concludes our demonstration and tutorial on the EMS Client Support Center. If you have any recommendations or questions, feel free to email us at help at Thank you for your time and have a nice day.